Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Yaga. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today in here. That's interesting, isn't it? You saw what happened last episode. Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? We know where we're going. Hmm. And these are different. Saturday, when he hurts enemies the most. Hmm. Yes. Because we spent a little bit of money. Uh, did we? I think we did. And, um, yeah, we're going into a very dangerous area. Last episode, I we just did a single location, and uh, I got my butt handed to me. And this time, it is a different... Everything is so wet here. Okay, the, the wetness is still the same, but it is a different map. Which, you know, it's because it's all randomized. We know. We know it's randomized. I also know you, and I don't like you. Hmm... I don't like this either. I don't know what that guy is doing. There. Did you see him get stuck? I like that. But there we go. All right. So off to a better start, all things considered. The map itself is pretty difficult. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies. May I borrow your strength for a job, young man? And what would you need it for? Nearby, there's a black pit heading down towards the devil himself. Next to it, there's a boulder. Be kind and cover up the pit with it. Very well, but my strength does not come cheap. What is your offer? A precious talisman. It's the last thing of value I have. I will take you up on your offer. Let's get it over with. Oh, but where are the demonic voices coming from the pit? They will try to deceive you. Do not listen to them. I will listen to them if they give me things, because that's how I do. Uh, okay. So, not demonic pit right away. I like that. I mean, I not demonic demons. Ow, I saw that coming! Oh my god. Aha! I need to be careful with these guys, because we have learned about them last episode. And, uh, oof, okay. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're joined me! Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's what you get. Oh, I can't attack them while they're in this mode. That is very sad. Very sad. Okay. Oh. This is going better. It's going a lot better. Is this the demonic pit? No, it is the good pit. We have an, another rune. Zozim's rune. Beautiful name. A lot of bread as well. Well, I got one bread anyway. And an altar. An altar, all scratched and cracked, dedicated to Chernobog, the Black God. What's that mocking laugh in the distance? The altar is silent now. We never get any treasure from it. I clean it, but I don't get it. Let's see if the pit is over this way. That, no, that doesn't look like a pit. What is that? What, wait, what? Do you see that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, what are those? The things that show up in, in, uh... I don't know what they are. The, the, the things that show up in Don't Starve. Oh, I see, they're summoners, sort of. Okay, I can deal with that. They also blow up and kill their own. Hmm. Yeah, you know, that's alright. That's alright, it's a little bit tricky to... Take it all in at, in at first. A stone oven sits here. There's a freshly baked loaf inside the oven. There's nothing inside. I always have to try. Absolutely always have to try. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. I always have to try to um, steal the, the second loaf. Because, oh my god, everything dodges. Wow, I hate it. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, those things dodging is... I think I know why. I mean, I, maybe I don't know why. It's the game... It's the game realizing... Or, obviously, it's designed for this, but... So, so it's real... It, it has been realized since the beginning. But it's the game re... Oh, that was brutal. I didn't like that. It's the game realizing that it can't make you be 
just do you see how they all dodge well these two do it can't make you be a a, a shooter all the time and so it, it forces you to use your your melee which up to this point you can absolutely get away without using that much and our hammer broken though it may be is basically made for us using it as a throwing a throwing hammer all the time is it broken actually i need to pay close attention to this cuz we don't i don't i don't know how that works you know the durability do i can i tell i wish we had a number cuz oh oh are you weak? oh oh i hate it yeah this extra range is beautiful okay i like very much so that i brought my little thingy I don't I never know the name of the thing the thing with a fork because oh those guys, oh, those guys have charge I think they do mm-hmm oh you're my friend now I think oh you don't dodge that do you well it didn't dodge that either oh maybe you don't dodge things at all hello but my problem with the uh, there we go not bad at all actually my problem with... We well, get very little unluck from eating the bread now. It used to be that we'd get a lot. My problem with the melee attacks is that we have seen how unreliable... Well, not, not unreliable, but basically we have seen the... That we cannot be close to an enemy, even if an enemy is not aiming at you, when the enemy attacks with a melee attack. Because they'll the, their attack rate, not attack rate, I suppose, but the oh, this is interesting. It's my anvil. Ha! Huh, cool. Okay, maybe I can repair. Should I? Yes, I should. There we go. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just the it, doing melee is very dangerous unless you're like going in and out, like dodging in and dodging out, or maybe just dodging out in at all. What brings you around these swamps, blacksmith? I'm looking for the water of youth. Oh, not this again. You'll get lost, just like the others. That madman priest will blame your loss on the swamp as well. I will not have that. What priest? That madman that keeps trying to clean my swamp with his rituals. What happens to people coming here? What do you think? They get lost and then drown or starve to death. Or get eaten. Others lose their minds like that priest. Again? Have others come before me? Oh, and how many? Old men and women, scared by what they see in mirrors and the crackling of their bones. They come to my swamps in search of youth, and no matter what I do or say, they won't go home. So the water of youth is here? Oh, you don't understand. The water of youth is not for humans to possess. It's meant to remain here, in the swamp. This madness will go away in time, but in the meantime, you should give me the water to keep it safe. You never know when someone might take it by force. <laughs> you sure ain't like the others. They weren't nearly as amusing as you. There might be something to your offer, though. How about this? I give you a spoiled version of the water. It's not as potent as the original, but it's powerful enough to fool any human. I'm listening. If, and only if, you get rid of that madman of a priest disturbing my swamp. I can't take any fakes, so I'll lose my head for it. But... How about after I finish my mission, I bring it back? I promise, if I don't bring it back to you, every drop of it, you could take my heart out of my chest. And to show you how true I am, I'll rid you of the priest. Get rid of the priest first, and you'll get the water. Hmm. I didn't actually look at the other options, because I saw that the one that I happened to... Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. I need to be very careful with this thing, because it's clear that they're not all the same. I think some of those are just... Oof. Yeah, some of these are, are explosives. 
I might not want to attack at melee, but the... Um, what was I going to say? Ooh, okay. Everything is fine here. I was going to say something about the water. Ooh, that didn't go too bad. Did it? I don't know. Hmm. That's all right. Ah, you poor man. Have the swamps tricked you as well? Are you saying the swamps are playing tricks on me? You poor soul. You've probably lost your mind. Don't you know you're walking in a cursed land? What cursed land are you talking about? This whole swamp is cursed by evil spirits. People have been disappearing here in the past weeks, one after the other, coming here in the evening, nowhere to be found in the morning. People say their lights can be seen at night. Some have seen the faces of the missing ones through the trees. How's the search so far? Did you find anyone? Not yet. But my faith is as strong as the stench in this devil's nest. I just need to perform a ritual to cleanse this place. But every time I start one, I keep getting attacked by ungodly creatures. If you could keep them away from me while I do the cleanse, you would be doing God's work. Hmm. I can't ask for money out of that. The Vodnik Elder told me all about you. You are disturbing the creatures here. I'm not going to say this twice. You either pack up and leave, or I will bury you on the spot. Curse you, pagan. You are stopping God's work. I'll go. But God will punish you for this. The game said I dropped something? Don't tell me there's an inventory limit. No, no, there isn't. Not there. So it must be... A blessing? Or is it a quest? It is a quest. Uh, it is a blessing. Lose Copex from time to time. How dare you? This is a great affront. This is this is terrible. Hey, have you sent that madman away? I think so. That problem is solved now. Give me the water of life, so I can bring it back later. Take this path, and you'll get to the water. Oh, you could have said it so already then. We are deep into this place. It's kind of tricky to know where I'm going. Oh, that is the exit. Well, oh, I lo- Oh. I see. So the I dropped the Copac, but it's on the floor. I dropped something is the blessing that I have. Not that I dropped something then. I just need to be on the lookout for when I drop money. Eh, sounds fair. Speaking of which. Let me see if I can find your thing. Two Copex I dropped. Hmm. Well, this is the devil's pit. I can hear someone up there. Help me, please! I'll cover you up in a second, demon. Use your last words wisely. I'm not a demon! I am the wife of a foolish old man! He pushed me in this pit not a day before! Well, why would he do such a thing? Are you trying to trick me? I... might have been nagging him more lately. Still, that does not make me deserve such a death. Now free me, or I shall cast upon you curses! That's fair. The old man is offering something. If I believe you, what's in it for me? I found treasures in the pit. It can be yours. Your offer sounds better. Try not to spill any of it. Oh, yeah. All of the money. If that idiot thought me insufferable before, wait until I'm done with him. He'll be wishing he was down there. I'll just stay here for a bit and catch my breath. Mm-hmm. Hey. Did you cover the pit, young lad? Hmm. Sure did. Now let's see if it was worth it. Thank you, lad. 
Here you go. Be on your way, young man. You've done enough. Ooh. Cloth of desire. Nice. What? 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 <laughs> oh, the cloth of what now? What? <laughs> oh, it's a, an enchantment thing. Sometimes enemies will become friendly when touching you. Oh, right. So I'm thinking the the fact that I dropped Copex now is a good proc. As in, it will allow me to, for example, if I got, if I have something that uh, recovers, that allows me to recover luck when I pick Copex, then, you know, there's no reason to believe that I will gain or lose luck, rather, when I drop Copex. So I'm thinking. Okay. Woohoo! That's pretty difficult here. Okay, that's not too bad at all. And yeah, you can distract them with a throwing hammer. So you just sort of punch them while they're at it. <laughs> yeah, that is a good strategy there. Uh, so yeah, there's no reason to believe that dropping Copex is going to be bad. So I just get the good. Oh, it's these guys. <laughs> oh, this guy got pushed by my hammer. Not ideal, and I just dropped more. Yeah, it does get annoying. It does get annoying, but I'm gonna get used to it, so it isn't hopefully not too much of a problem. <laughs> I don't need to take your shield away. All I oh crap! All I need is that you are attacking. Come here. Get over here. Oh, it's not working. Oh no, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Did it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know you well. Uh. Not a problem here. I do not appreciate. Ooh, did I actually hit that thing with, with my throwing hammer. I think he might have been attacking or something. I don't appreciate the bees. Whew. Pull it off. Oh yeah, when it's attacking, you can just hit it. It's a lot better than the other ones. Okay, the bees might... Oh my god, I was gonna say the bees might be better than... than the... Uh, uh, if I do melee, but no. No, they're not better if I do melee. They're really nasty. I don't understand what the camera try, is trying to do. It's it's sort of preventing me from from seeing. Whoa! Why did you why did you th throw it over there? It's sort of preventing me from seeing what is up there. But we don't need to see what is up there. We have dearest blacksmiths, a moment of your time. I can run, but I cannot walk. I have a mouth. But I cannot talk. I have a head, but I cannot think. I have a bed, but I cannot sleep. What am I? A river. A river? Indeed. Bless your mind, young blacksmith. But I believe you should be on your way. Until next time, blacksmith. And that was just a blessing. The mind... Be young for plus one mind. Hmm. And we are at five mind. I really don't understand what the stats do. It's a little bit you know, nondescript. A stone oven sits here. Old, but repaired. <laughs> and I just dropped money and I picked it up immediately. There's nothing inside the oven now. That's a terrible thing. And we're out. Are we? Well done, Ivan. You have found the water. Is this the real thing you came after? The water is here just for you to take. But wouldn't you rather give the Tsar a fake? I know the Tsar wants it, but I will ask you, Ivan. Will you take something that belongs to no one? I will keep them both, the fake and the pure. Who knows what illness I will need to cure? Yourself before all. Some say that is wise. Take this fake water. Give the Tsar his prize. This is a bad idea. 
Muddy water. Ugh, let's see. I must not spill this thing on me. Farewell now, Ivan. I'll take to the skies. There's a beautiful maiden I need to advise. You will see me later. I am sure of that. I'll find you, my dear, when we need to chat. A beautiful maiden. Maybe you should note that down for a future encounter. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? We'll learn a lot of things, especially if the blessings or curses actually stay. I think, I hope, I don't, I don't know if that curse is going to stay. I guess we're going to find out in the next battle. So we have attack from behind, do critical when attacking enemies from behind, or recover willpower when receiving Copex. So willpower is the stamina, I think. I'm going to go with, go with the attack from behind, because th that does happen a lot. And we have bread. Ah! Oh, I thought you were going to bring me something. Apparently, that's not the case. And also, we can repair our tool. Now, that probably means... That probably means that I shouldn't have repaired it before. Because I need more ore. It's just, we don't have enough. You know? Just don't have enough. Let's see if we can get the slot for... Add durability. Sometimes the weapon is repaired without consuming any ore. That's really nice. So yeah, let's try this thing. It costs a bunch of money, because but it's going to add durability to my weapon when I repair it. So I'm going to repair it again. And now I don't have any gold ore, but hopefully it has so much durability that I'm not going to need to repair it for the duration of the game. So yay for that. Um, so let's see where we're going. Ivan seems troubled. Where's he going now? I think we're going back. The Tsar is waiting for the water. Ivan sets toward the village. Hmm. And here we are. Back home. Hello. It's Baba Yaga. No, it's just our Baba. Baba means... Aunt, possibly? Or grandmother? Oh, my dear boy. Look at you. You look unfed. How are you to find yourself a wife when you look like this? Nobody wants a bony husband. Take this loaf of bread fresh out of my oven. Thank you, Babushka. Travel well, my dear. Babushka. Lovely. Let's have a chat with the Tsar. Also, let's look at our... Yeah, I dropped something. This thing is going to be here forever. We're going to have to deal with that forever. I think it's once every minute or something. Again, you have returned? I told you not to come back without bottled youth. God, take him to the stone. Maybe I should keep the water of youth for myself then. It will fetch quite a price from another king. How? Show me bottled youth. A bottle of mud. Is, is this what you call bottled youth? It makes your mind feel fresh and gives you the willpower to face it all. The water of youth makes you feel young as a foal. But wait. You're right. I feel something. I feel young. And my mind is clear. But the curse... <clears throat> Ivan, you have done well, but I need more from you. Now, my final task. If you do this one, it will be the last. Go over nine mountains, over nine seas. Find the most lovely wife and bring her to me. She died or something. Where do I go to find such a bride? Go through the fields, or go through the swamp. I do not care, as long as it's far away. What is beauty, my lord? How do I decide? 
You should want to look straight into the sun, but not at her. That's how beautiful she must be. That doesn't sound right. I will need a gift for her, to court her properly. That is none of my concern. It is your task, not mine. What better gift than to be my wife? Oh. I thought... I thought it was my bride. I didn't realize the bride... Oh. I, this makes it... Okay. I will find her, sir. I will start right away. It seems pointless to argue, whatever I may say. No, oh, now, find me a wife more beautiful than the sun, and only then can you return. Oh, that's how that works. She's more beautiful than the sun, and so you want to... You'd rather look at the sun than to look at her. Be what? I promised I would come. I sense you are in need. Tell me of your quest, and I will closely heed. A wife I have to bring as lovely as the sun. Someone from far away. She must be sworn to none. There is no simpler task than choosing such a bride. I'll tell you where she is, but it is a long ride. Morevna is her name. Maria to her folk. Before you get to her, you'll pass through ice and smoke. The frozen peaks you'll cross, and after them, the woods, where lots of men have died, buried in blooded woods. Hmm. That is what she was referring to before, about the the lovely, br the lovely bride, or no, she didn't say bride, she said maiden, so, yeah. Travel well, my dear. Thank you, Babushka. And we will indeed travel well, but not in this episode because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Kirill RPG, and this has been Yaga. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode.